Hey guys, this is Dan and Jacob from Fisher Deep Adventures. Uh, today's video is going to be about Jacob installing uh, some of his metal cloak parts uh, for their front and rear uh, track bars as well as the AEV springs uh, that will give him a better spring rate on his Jeep. If this is something you're interested in, uh, please stick around for the video. So we're going to start with the back. I'm going to jack the Jeep up, uh, take the boast um, wheels off each side, um, disconnect the shock, um, take the back springs out, replace them with the new ones, and then we'll deal with the track bar. And I will show you how I do that. So we got both of the wheels off. We got the Jeep on jack stands, ready to drop the axle. But first we're gonna get those shocks loose on the bottom, disconnected from the axle. And we'll see if we need to disconnect the sway bar links too. So I have both of the shocks disconnected from the axle. Um, so now, we're gonna disconnect uh, the sway bar links and I'm gonna do that on both sides so we can drop the extra down. So I got the springs out. The black ones in the middle are the ones that I previously put on from Quadratech. They're supposed to be their heavy duty spring um, uh, lift, but uh, it wasn't really heavy duty. Um, but anyway, you can definitely see the uh, difference in size of the diameter of the spring. These are from AEV. This is the Quadratech. Um, and you can also see how much wider in diameter the actual spring coil is compared to the watch tank. So I'm going to go ahead and put these suckers on and uh, we'll see how it goes. Got the springs in place and we got the axle centered with the new track bar so now i'm gonna put the shocks so it's the next day i started a little late in the video um but we got the uh rear end put back together and we are gonna start on the front end and let's see how it goes so today we're gonna replace the uh, track bar with one from metal cloak we got new uh, front springs from AV and then we also have the um, correction brackets for the front from metal cloak as well so we're gonna do all that and we're also going to put my dad's old um, control arms, lower control arms, 
um, from the front because they're a little bit longer um, than the ones that came stock on my Jeep because he has a Rubicon and I have a Sport. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to show you how we do it. Alright guys, that uh, was a video um, that kind of covered the install of the springs and the track bars. <laughs> Why don't you tell us how it went? It went good. <laughs> it went good. <laughs> well guys, there you have it. <laughs> it went good. It went good. <laughs> this is Dan and Jacob from Fisher Jeep Adventures. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you on the trail. <laughs>